Five Borough Wrestling fans, I am longtime independent wrestling fan Robert. After a bit of a hiatus, Five Borough Wrestling returned with driving force, and it was also FBW's first show in 2018. We kicked off with a pre show match, which saw representing the Shook crew, Max Caster and Bryce Donovan, with Bobby Orlando in their corner as they defeated Steve Somerset and Tony Boos. I'm not kidding, folks. That's, that was his ring name. The main show starts out with uh, ring announcer Ryan Peterson introducing Ariella Nix. I guess she's now the sole general manager of Five Borough Wrestling since Christopher Beckett was not in attendance. Maybe FBW can clarify that. Well, she introduced uh, the... Introduced the Man of Steel, Mike Verna, and the JT Dunn to the ring. And unfortunately, Verna, well, actually, Verna took the microphone and told the crowd about a gentleman named Lou who made it possible for FBW to be in this, this building, which we'll talk about later on. And he even told everybody to come, come by, buy the good food and even meant, pointed out that it's, it's Lent and they had fish there too. Eventually, they're interrupted by forces PJ Stackpole, AJ Spector, and Bear Bronson. Stackpole takes the microphone and announces to the crowd that Tommy Dreamer, Little Guido, Dan Moff, and Matt McIntosh would not be appearing. And Stackpole said since, since Verna and Dunn were supposed to defend the tag team championship against Dreamer and Guido instead of out here, Stackpole said that Spectre and Bronson want to invoke their rematch clause. The match got underway, and eventually Anthony Gangone comes out, and he assists AJ Spectre and Bear Bronson in defeating Man of Steel Mike Verna and the JT Dunn to capture the tag team championship for the second time. Eventually, Force is doing a number on Dunn and Verna until Teddy Hart comes to the ring and, makes, and saves them, but Ariella Nix comes out, she takes the microphone and says to, says to Force, this isn't going to keep going. And she says to Gangone, you got your open invitational tonight for the championship? Well, guess what? I'm announcing the participants. And she announced it would be Anthony Gangone defending the championship against Man of Steel Mike Verna, the JT Dunn, and Teddy Hart in a fatal four-way match later in the show. Next up, we saw the Greek god Papa Don defeat the unbreakable, or is it undeniable, Jack Gallo. Then in tag team action, we saw the Devil's Outlaw Stockade and Cyrus DeVille defeat the Elements, Iceberg and Pyro Pulse. Then in singles competition, uh, wrestling's richest prize, Darius Carter comes out and he mentions he was originally going to wrestle Dan Moff, but it got changed. Then he was going to wrestle Teddy Hart one-on-one. -on -one. That got changed. And Darius put out an open challenge, and it was answered by former NXT star Bull James. The match was on, and uh, Bull James defeated uh, Darius Carter. After the match, Bull takes the microphone and thanks the crowd for braving the, wet, the bad weather. But then Carter hits Bull in the balls. I won't say that three times fast. And then proceeds to stomp away. Jack Gallo comes out, joins in, joins Carter in stomping away at Bull until the Greek god Papa Don hits the ring to make the save. Papa Don takes the microphone and he tells Gallo and Carter, you know, that he and Bull are the, are the, uh, the veterans of the locker room and issued a challenge for a tag team match at Five Borough Wrestling's next event, which is happening Friday night, April the 20th. At that point, they did go to intermission. They, um, the show resumed with general manager Ariella Nix comes out and she announces, and the referee carries the wild card championship belt to the ring. And she said that the special thing about the wild card championship is that every time the, that belt will be defended, it will be a different stipulation. And someone brings an envelope to Ariella Nix, and she announces to the crowd it's going to be a six-way match to crown the first ever wildcard champion. And in this, uh, originally this was going to be a four-way match, and Matt McIntosh was unable to make the show, so they made 
it was uh, the three original guys who were going to be in the four-way, and three guys were added. So, to sum it all up, Talon defeated Chris Payne, CPA, Logan Black, Orion Dove, and the returning to FBW action Rex Lawless to become the very first FBW wildcard champion. Up next in singles action, we saw Joey Cush, if I got his name wrong, I apologize, as he defeated the kid, Vinny Pacifico. Then it was main event time, the fatal four-way match for the heavyweight championship, which saw the JT Dunn defeat Man of Steel Mike Verna, Anthony Gangone, and Teddy Hart to become the new five-borough wrestling heavyweight champion when Dunn pinned Verna with a small package and Dunn put over the promotion and Verna eventually said, I'm not going to cheap shot you. You know, I'm going to, I want to, I definitely want my title shot one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, I think Teddy got to thank the crowd for being there and uh, hopes he comes back, he hopes to come back in the future. Well, personal notes time. It was uh, great seeing Melissa, both Nicoles, Stella, Mike McNicholas, Dalvin, Jeff, Thomas, Pete, Kevin, Andrew, uh, 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 well, I gotta say the, um, that this new building, the most precious blood youth and parish center, which by the way, is not located at at 70 Bay 47th Street. It is located at 2,739 2, Harway Avenue, right at the corner of Harway Avenue and Bay 47th Street. Hopefully FBW will put that address on the flyers for the April 20th event. But, hmm. Here are some memorable quotes. They said it would never happen. Mike McNicholas shaking hands with Papa Don as he was coming to the ring. And by the way, Mike, that happened at 8.27 p.m. Because Melissa was asking me what time it was at that when that happened. I didn't break it this time. Stockade after using my megaphone on the elements and... Uh, <sighs> Note to self, when Stockade's wrestling, hide the megaphone. Because even though you didn't break it, Stockade, the batteries fell out again. Much like NYWC House of Madness back in October. Thankfully, huge uh, thank you to, to not only Ryan Peterson, but um, cameraman Richard Ruiz. And I don't know if the ref... Was it Ref Steven who helped out? Can't remember right now. All right, you made it. Bull James, when he noticed me in the bathroom before the show started... Rock a pie, baby. Melissa, when Bull James was carrying Darius Carter in his arms before resting him on the top turnbuckle during their match. I think they're going to eat each other's gyros. Bull James to Papa Don after Papa Don issued the challenge for the tag match to Darius Carter and Jack Gallo. Now, Fibro Wrestling returns on Friday night, April 20th, I imagine that show will be titled Proving Grounds 2018. Because usually June is the anniversary show, so I'm going to guess right now there'll be no show in May. And it's, for those who are wondering, I'll say it again to plug it. It's taking place at FBW's new home, the Most Precious Blood Youth and Parish Center, located at 2739 Harway Avenue, not... 70 Bay 47th Street, as most people thought. As mentioned earlier, the challenge was issued by Bull James and the Greek god Papa Don for a tag match with Unbreakable or Undeniable, Jack Gallo, and wrestling's richest prize, Darius Carter. Carter. Matches I would like to see for April 20th, I'd like to see the newly crowned heavyweight champion, JT Dunn, in a rematch, well, a one-on-one -on -one rematch with uh, Anthony Gangone. 
I'd like to see the, the two-time tag team champions, AJ Spector and Bear Bronson, defend their belts against Stockade and Cyrus DeVille. Mm. Well, I think that's... Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot the name of that place I ate that. They had a good eggplant uh, Parmesan hero. Um, I forgot the name of the place... It was, but it's right by the Bay 50th Street train station where the D train stops at. But definitely, um, Fibro Wrestling is back in, back in, back in full force. No pun intended. And uh, can't wait for April 20th, which I imagine will be proving ground. <laughs>